This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Man, you're not going to find many boxing fans out here that are into it as much as I am. Like, when I say y'all eat, sleep, breathe boxing, like, it's, it's me. Like, if I literally can get paid, like, six figures just to cover the sport and travel the world, like, I would do that for the rest of my days. Like, that's that's how much I'm into the sport. Boxing is in such a weird space right now, man. Like, it's in such a weird space. There's so many people questioning the state of boxing. Is it in a good, is it in a good space? Is it in a bad space? Like, what's going on with boxing? And it's really just a mixed bag, man. Like, over the past, like, year or so, we've got some real treats. We've got some real treats. We got Loma and uh tiafimo unification fight we got we're getting ready to get um josh taylor and jose ramirez unification fight we got jamel charlo and uh jason rosario that was a unification fight we're gonna get jamel charlo brian castano that's gonna be a unification undisputed fight we got um we got dillian white and Alexander Povetkin, one and two. We might be getting AJ and Tyson Fury. Um, I mean, it, it's just, and then Showtime dropped their their uh, schedule for May through September of this year. Uh, the Zone got good cards coming up. Uh, I mean, it's it's so many good things that's going on with boxing in terms of matchups. But on the other side, we have a lot of exhibition matches. We have a lot of um, retired fighters coming back into the sport. We have a new uh, player in boxing in Triller. And you have to say they're a player now because of what they're doing from a number standpoint. And... It's just so hard to get a grasp on what's going on in boxing and where boxing is as a sport. On the one end, it's some really good things going on. And then on the other end, it's so many things that's not going on. And I'm just irritated that they're not happening. Like Spence Crawford, like that irritates the hell out of me. Um, but this one irritates me more than anything else. Probably one of the main fights I want to see is Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 3. For no other reason, I just need closure. That situation needs closure. There's some people that felt like Fury didn't cheat. There's some people that feel like Fury did cheat. There's some people that feel like Wilder was still the truth. There's some people that felt like Wilder is washed up and he's done. I need that third fight for closure. And somebody's fan base has got to shut up. I want to see Wilder Fury 3. But things are so jacked up in the sport of boxing right now. Just on the other side. Like boxing is like Jekyll and Hyde. Like it's really two sides to boxing right now. And the bad side of boxing is... Except for me getting Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury 3. I'm probably going to get Jake Paul and Tommy Fury 1. That gives me a fucking headache, man. Like, that gives me a headache. A headache. I got to watch on social media. Tyson Fury in the gym. Hitting the pads. Hitting the bag. I want to see Deontay Wilder in the gym. Hitting the pads hitting the bag every time i see wilder he's sitting on the couch he got some you know he got some wine in his glass he got a bottle 
sitting on the table. He he's shooting some rifles and things like that. He's enjoying his life and he's deserved to live his life and enjoy his life. Don't get me twisted. But as a boxing fan, as a boxing media person, just as a boxing purist, like I'm greedy. Like I'm greedy as hell, yo. I want to see Deontay Wilder inside the ring in the gym i want to see him jumping rope i want to see him hitting the bag i want to see him hitting the pads i want to see who he's working with um as far as coaches i want to see what he's working on like i want insight on what's going on with wilder and the only thing i get right now is fury is working out and tommy fury trying to get a fight with jake paul like i'm just like yo like what has the boxing world come to like I might see Tommy Fury in the ring before I see Tyson Fury in the ring. And mind you, I do know the AJ and Tyson Fury rumors are out there. It's supposed to be three different dates now. A venue is supposed to be set. Until they actually settle on a date and actually announce the fight with a press conference, I don't care if it's on Zoom or whatever, that's when I'll believe it. They've been announcing this shit too many times and it... They're sprinkling out details here and there and possibles and maybes. Like, come see me when it's, it's a definite. Come see me when it's a definite. There's an actual chance I might see Tommy Fury in the ring before I see Tyson Fury in the ring. The next big fight might be Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Like, there's a better chance that fight happens than Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury 3. If you are a boxing fan, if you are a boxing media person, if you are a boxing purist, if you are a Tyson Fury fan, if you are a Deontay Wilder fan, you should have a big ass problem with that. I don't care about Jake Paul being in the sport. I don't care about what Jake Paul is doing. I don't care how much Jake Paul is making. I don't care about none of that. I care, I care about the well-being of the sport and the best fights being made and the fact that I got to sit up here and talk to you guys and know for a fact there's a better chance that I'm going to get Jake Paul and Tommy Fury except for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. It makes the blood boil. It makes the blood boil, man. I don't think y'all understand my frustration, the level of my frustration right now. Like, my level of frustration is really, really, really high when it comes down to the other side of boxing, the bad side of boxing. That's the bad side. I'm not I'm not saying that there's not good stuff going on in boxing. There's definitely good stuff going on in boxing. There's a lot of good fights to be made. There's unification fights to be made. There's a lot of stuff going on in boxing that can potentially be great. But just the fact of that being the case of Tommy Fury and Jake Paul before Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Ugh. Ugh. Like, ugh. Like, ugh. Like, ugh. Like, you, you, ever see, you ever see a chick and she's just wearing something she ain't supposed to be wearing and it's just not it's just it just make your skin crawl you just like ugh, like you you're not supposed to be wearing that that's the feel that i got right now just thinking about that so in closing deontay wilder i i didn't talked about deontay wilder so many times on the channel brother i i want to see you inside of the ring i want to see you in the gym I understand you living your life and that's cool but as a boxing fan the game needs you bro the game needs Deontay Wilder active on social media active in interviews in the gym talking that talking that bronze bomber shit like we we need that we need that I, I don't agree with everything you say I don't agree with everything you do but you are great for the sport I'm greedy, bro. We we need you in the gym, man. We need you in the gym. Show some footage. I don't care if you just hit in the bag, bro. At this point, we need the bronze bomber in the ring. We need him in the gym. We need him back in the forefront of boxing. So it can be a better chance of us getting Wilder versus Fury 3 versus Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury 1. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.